I wanted to get that A. And you get a Roosevelt Junior High Mop Up t-shirt if you run six minutes and 15 seconds. It wasn't around the track four laps, it was around the campus, baseball field, softball field, finish middle of the campus, and I ran it five minutes and 20 seconds. Oh I was 13 year old, and that's when my God-given talent was discovered. Do I get cramps? If I don't do push-ups and sit-ups and I don't eat ahead of time, I do get cramps. And they're not fun. In fact, you know, the, 20, the fourth place finish at the Olympic Games from mile 8 to 21, I was dealing with cramps. So sometimes they just don't go away for a long, long time. So eat a lot of potassium bananas, okay? <laughs> My fastest mile time is, who can guess? I'm a marathoner, right? He got it, 402. And I ran 342 for the 1500 meter 16 years ago. And that's like one four minute, but it makes it a lot easier when you go five minute pace. The one tip that I want to tell is you made the right decision. I'm very proud of you for you being here. The question was what tips I would give to beginners. And the first step, the hardest step you hear. From here, be patient. You know, you never, you're going to be doing half marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks, maybe eventually a marathon. But whenever you are struggling at that point, you're getting there, remember where you were today and how you gotten five weeks ago, three weeks ago. So be patient. That's what life is, that's what marathon is, that's what training is, and don't be in a rush to get fit and come back from injuries because they will lead in trouble. I got one more question here and then we'll finish it up. With, with uh, career, whether it's the Olympic medal, the New York, Boston, what accomplishment are you most proud of and why? That's, that's, that's a super tough question. The question is which one I like, my silver medal, my New York, or Boston? You know, it's kind of telling me which daughter do you like better? <laughs> You know, each has its significance, and I'll tell you why. The most proud of, obviously, of all is the Boston Marathon one. The reason being because of what happened the year before. I was there for four hours cheering people on, and and I left five minutes before the explosion. And it could be one, it could be me, it could be my wife, it could be my daughter. And I made a personal commitment for the NHSA, for Boston, and for the world. What I can I do positive to? overcome that obstacle, that horrific moment of Boston Street. So for me, it gave me great gratification to be able to go, you know, you can take it, do it, imagine it, but to actually do it all coming together. As you guys know, marathoners, everything has to click. And coincidentally, on the most important day of marathons, David said, it came for me. I felt proud to be able to be able to not just win it after 31 years, but on the most important day of marathoning, of Boston Marathon, just because you know, we needed an American to win it. We needed that healing process. And for me, I took that challenge every day. If I see Boston strong, or if I see a hat be, be strong hat and whatnot, it was constant reminders for me to say, am I on track to do it? Am I on track to do it? I want to do it. Wanting to do is one thing, but to come and, and do it the way I did it, you know, you have to go six, seven miles. And in Athens, I couldn't go 5K left because I was, I was my fourth marathon. I was very fearful I'm going to hit the wall and not get a medal for our country. But to go with, you know, 15 miles in Boston to go left takes guts, takes commitment. It takes Boston strong, we have strong you to be able, you know what? I'm going to go out to inspire people. If I get beat, I'm ready to look at the consequences. And that's what it get me on. And to be able to mile 18 and 19 and a half, people are saying, USA, USA, I can help it because I'm motion going USA, USA myself while I'm running. And that's why it's so special because there was so much emotion, so much deliberation of necess necessary victory and I felt proud that I was able to live to the standard. That was awesome. All right, so we're going to do a couple more things tonight. One is we were going to reveal the, uh, the marathon course, right, for uh, Rock and Roll St. Louis. Um, they're still printing the map uh, down at Kinko's. Uh, the course was approved at 3.30 today. 
So uh, we got, after Meb gave it the thumbs up, uh, after running, uh, uh, running it this morning. So it'll be here, the map, and we'll do that after our run. What we're going to do now is we're going to go out for a run. Anybody who wants to go with Meb, he was blasting about 5.30 when we were moving, not at the stoplights today. So I think we're going to go a little slower than that tonight. We're going to keep everybody together. The idea is have a nice, right? One of the great things I love about our sport is that we can compete in the exact same events as our heroes in the elite uh, in the sport. So tonight we're all going to go for a run together. I do ask we're going to go down to uh, Boat Road. Down here, we're going to just walk as a group down to Boat Road. Then we're going to start the run. Uh, and we're going to follow the leader, and nobody's going to get lost. Once we hit the Pear Park, we do have cones out there. Map is going to be led by... You take your note Andy. away, Andy. Andy, raise your hand, please. <laughs> That's Andy. Andy's about the only guy we have here who can keep up with me. So if he decides to turn it on, we'll go ahead and be able to no pressure. Uh, keep, uh, keep it going. No pressure. What we're going to ask you to do no then pressure. when we get done... If you want to go in this door here, we're going to have a line. We want to be very respectful of Meb's time. He's had a long day. He threw out the first pitch at the Cardinals game. And we, we won one to nothing. And how did that pitch go? That was a good pitch. We'll consult the video on that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to walk in here. Our goal is we've got, uh, we're going to kind of crank through just as he's speedy. We're going to speedily get uh, autographs and photos. So you've got one item to autograph. If you brought something, he can just throw his name on there for you. We've got race bib numbers if you want him to sign that. And then when you stand in front of the screen, we'll take your picture and we'll email that picture to you, all right? So we won't go with everybody's cell phone. That slows everybody down. You can know how the drill works, all right? So we'll do course reveal after that. Right, and also we are, because of the popularity, we're out of his books, but we're going to sign up. If you want, we'll take a clipboard and we'll make sure that we can get those to you. All right, so I'm sure everybody wants to support our athletes uh, that way. All right, so Andy, if you want to come up here and uh, kind of get things started. Any questions? All right, so be very careful. Just kind of, we'll walk down the parking lots here, kind of on the south side.